Toyota. We are working on a 2004 Toyota Corolla. Uh, this car has a radiator fan problem. Radiator fan is not coming to coming switch on. So here we are going to repair this car. Here is the repair what we are going to do on this car. Here is the radiator fan as you can see. This radiator fan is not coming to on and uh, the car is getting temperature. Uh, still the radiator is not the radiator fan is not coming to start automatically. So here is the schematic diagram. I'm going to illustrate a little bit about this diagram. As you can see, here is the layout and uh, this one is the fan motor you can see fan motor needs a positive and negative 12 volt power supply so that it will con come on but this 12 volt is not provided uh, as uh, we are thinking that we will provide a 12 volt power over here by from the battery and it the fan will switch on or for sure this will switch on but we need some control so here is the power side and the con little control side schematic diagram for this particular car so how it's, it works is you can see here are two relays one is fan uh, fan number one relay and the other is fan number two relay these two relays are working conjun in conjunction to each other and then they are switching on the fan so how it works is i'm going to uh, illustrate a little bit here the power is coming from this 30 ampere uh, rdi fan uh, fuse the power is coming over here to the relay contact the contact number five you can see and of course this power is switched over here and then fed to three if the relay is on but in the rest condition the relay is off so this power is up to here and it's not coming here so the positive will come here if the relay is switched on and then it is fed to the motor but here you can see this ground are negative to the motor is not directly negative ground instead it is going by this way to another relay here is the relay number two so here this is switching as you can see three and four is connected all the time in rest so by this way this negative will be provided through this resistor and then this splice e4 and to the ground here so this resistor will come in the way and the fan will switch on uh, with a slow speed it will not run with a full speed uh, and if it is needed to switch on the fan with full speed then this relay must come on and how this relay is switching i'm going to illustrate this thing so we are looking for relay number one first relay number one you can see from here to the point number two is controlled by this engine control module or ecm or ecu or engine computer you can see the six number terminal of the engine computer cf this is controlling relay number one and seven number terminal you can see the fan it is controlling the other relay the relay number two here and another thing is this switch this is a bypass to the ground the switch is also controlling relay number two this is the air conditioner pressure switch if pressure is going high due to any reason so this switch is closed and then this is switching on this relay and the fan will go, will run at full speed so this is what is the circuit explanation here how we are troubleshooting is we should have power over here to one and then if you will provide a ground over here this uh, relay should switch on and the fan should switch on with a slow speed so here we are going to look for power over here and power over here and then we will troubleshoot further the circuit and of course the power should come here because these are the par parallel connection you can see so here is what is our fuse box you can see and in this fuse box it is written very well written here is the fan relay number one and fan relay number two these two and here in the real uh, circuit you can see here is the fan relay number one and here is the two so i'm going to remove this relay using my pliers you hold it a little bit i just worked a little bit on this car before so fan number two also uh, relay number two also i have to remove So now from the schematic diagram I'm going to give you the explanation I have to check power over here as well as I have to check power over here not here and here these two and also here but first I have to confirm this coil so coil terminals are here this one and this one this and this and here in the another relay this one and this one so here I have to confirm the power now key on and uh, it's in the run position so we are going to look at the power here it, no we are getting no power the other terminal of course we are getting no power and the other relay we are looking at the same situation is there is no power and here if i will see on the power contacts the switch con switching contacts 
I'm getting power. So if I will switch it over here, the fan should run if the fan is good and the wiring integrity is there. But the problem is this control side. The control side had a problem. And of course I checked all the fuses. The fuses are good. You can see all fuses I just confirmed. Everything is good here. And another fuse box which is inside the engine. I confirmed all fuses were there. Fuses were good. So the problem is there is some integrity wiring integrity problem in this harness. This is there is some cut in this harness. So we cannot find that cut. And this is difficult work to find out this cut. This is the key powered key power actually coming from the key the ignition key. And we can get power from some other point which is a key power that we can jump to that particular point up to here and here so then the power the relays will switch on by this way so here we are getting we, we are looking at power i am getting another of course i am getting power the other one of course i am getting power so all these three are powered while the key is switched on so from any three of them i can get power and loop it to here to these relay contacts and then the circuit will work properly so here i'm going to show you the rest of the thing which i'm going to do in this car so here is the fuse box you can see this is the downside and uh, this is the wiring a lot, lot of wiring is there not a lot lot but you can see almost several wires are there and uh, here is that wire which i'm going to show you uh, uh key power these three these three are the key power so one of them is this one you can see this one i can take power, power from here and uh, then these are the you can see these this black and yellow wire and here is the black and yellow wire these wires i have to connect to this one so that the key power key power will be given to this and uh, here are the computer control this uh, lg light green and uh, other is also light green black you can see this one this one is for the relay control computer control which i just show you which are going to ecu so these wires i have to connect together and then i will jump them using uh, some extra wire a piece of wire i'm going to introduce between them instead of uh, repairing the original harness which is this and this is a big headache to open and go for the fault instead i'm going to jump it and it will work so here is the after shot while i repaired this harness you can see just uh, this wire black i connected to here uh, black and yellow and of course to this black and yellow i connected over here and taped also i did not solder it but i made it proper jointing so then hope it will work and it will not create any problem in future so i'm going to show you the after shot while fixing everything so now here as you can see i fixed this uh, fuse box but did not fix the relay so i'm going to check the power here on the other one you can see the power is there and uh, now the switch is on on the other one i have to show you you can see power is there on the coil and here is no power so okay switch off now is a switch on Baba. now switch off switch on please so here you can see there is a switch switched power now i'm going to put the relays in and then we'll show you how to control this thing so this one is the ground side this one is the positive side so ground side i will provide a ground and then the fan should run we will put a ground over here by this way this wire i'm going to put it in so that i will provide a ground on this wire then i will run this fan from externally not on this but instead this one here is the ground we can see and the other one is the power so here if i will provide a ground over here so this thing should run the fan should run here i am putting the relay but the relay should be there so here you can see i connected both relays and uh, the computer side control i just put this wire and on the other relay which is fan relay number two i control i provided this this wire to the ground and i will provide a ground from the tester you can see this uh, tester is grounded over here on the battery terminal negative this one and the tester point is also negative it will provide a negative but it will provide a control negative through this lamp so first i will have to provide to the relay number one here if i will switch on this relay so the resistor will come in the way because this 
four, four and three will be connected together and by, by this way the fan will get little voltage and it will run it will run with slow speed so I'm going to provide a ground over here on relay number one you can see the fan is running but it is not running with full speed it's running with slow speed and now I'm going to provide a ground to the other one also to both both of the relays I'm providing ground you will see the fan will get full speed now you can see the fan is running with a full speed now with a half speed because the resistance resistor is coming in the way and if I will provide to both for so the fan will run with a full speed like this and here the tester is also glowing a little more you can see because both relays are providing are getting more power on coils so the tester is glowing so this was what was our repair on this particular car and uh, this will be a su successful repair as I did not uh, uh, repair this uh, harness this harness if I was about to repair maybe this will take a day from me because opening this harness and uh, looking for the fault it's something very very much difficult instead I did it in the same way as it should be as and as it was so by this way we repaired it thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned and subscribe and like also